What? It's awesome. Okay, oh. so there, yep, there. Man, that looks good in the driveway. So you might be wondering what this door is for. All right, so we are in front of a cool, I don't know, $12 million listing. A slightly under 12 million, yeah. I actually brought a client by here who uh, who's relocating and, and he liked it. Um, so we got to get his wife to come out and decide if she likes it. But I thought this would be a good fit because it's very clean, it's very modern. The Cybertruck actually matches the aesthetic of the house very nicely. Yeah. Some amazing features inside. This is a listing of a buddy of mine, uh, Darren Walker. Can I He's show that? a badass. Yeah, take a look. Um, Darren's great. He's with Moreland Properties. Um, and he's got this listing. They were building it for years. These projects of this size and this nature can take three years in the planning and building. You'll see why when we get inside. Wait till we get to the top floor downtown panoramic views and an entertainment space that's phenomenal and you go straight in go up four stories in an elevator that's glass on the front and just all of a sudden downtown appears and you've got a party space for hundreds of people on the roof basically that's half covered half uncovered it's it's amazing all come right. on in and let's blow your mind let's do it oh my gosh we we might need to make this a series matt well welcome people, to my daily life people love seeing luxury real estate yeah uh, some people can afford it, however, <laughs> that's very few. But people love seeing this. Yeah, well, and yeah, this is, uh, I mean, I sell everything. Like I said, I was looking at a 100 acre ranch yesterday. Uh, showed this last weekend when, it, when they had an open house with my client. Um, Man, that looks good in the driveway. It does, right? <laughs> You need to do an open house here with that cyber truck. I know, I know. I'll have to see if Darren Holy wants to borrow it. Shiza, look at that door. Right, all right. We will not show get, that. We'll get the cyber truck. All right, check out this single hinge pivot door. How cool is that? <laughs> so should, should I take off lights. my shoes? Uh, yeah. Let me get some lights on. So can you see the color scheme and why I thought this was cyber related? Uh, yeah. Very clean lines. Holy um, shit, there's very, two islands. Very modern, two islands. Wolf and Sub-Zero, everything. Beautiful white oak floors, uh, great pool. There's an amazing water feature that's out there that it drops down from 12 feet and creates a sheet of water at the uh, end of the lap pool. Uh, it's a four-story structure, uh, well, three and a half. Uh, the, that wall system, slides into the wall so that wall disappears and you bring inside outside and outside inside multiple fireplaces multiple kitchenettes wine uh, fridges um, some really cool features so this car this house has two garage two two-car garages one on each side what yeah so we you parked in front of one the there's another what? one over here it's got a door here in the pantry so you might be wondering what this door is for, but it's actually so that you can put your groceries from the garage right here, <laughs> pretend I'm a bag of groceries and have them conveniently ready to store. I also noticed there's a NEMA 1450 charger right here. Perfect for the cyber truck. I believe there's chargers in both garages. You have okay. two two car garages, both with tall ceilings. So you could put scissor jacks and stack even more cars in there if you want to. Check it out, three sub zeros in a row freezer uh, and uh, refrigerator and wine. Wow, this is some, I hate to say it, but rich people-ish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, grab me a LaCroix, would you? <laughs> so cool. Here, let's take a look at the master. Yeah. Which way? Straight ahead. Straight ahead. This would be an epic place to play hide and seek. <laughs> Wow, holy crap, look at the shower. That is called a wet room. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I love taking baths and my boyfriend loves taking showers. So I guess we can meet in the middle. Wow, so tell me like, is it mostly like celebrities and like, investors that can afford this kind of thing? I mean, Austin has really been in a transition phase for really the last 15 years since I've been here. I would have called us tech light 15 years ago. We were a lot of back office support, yeah. uh, HR, that kind of jobs. And really what we're seeing now is actually, uh, there was an article that came out a week ago saying we are the number one city for headquarter relocations in the country. And most of that being tech. 
Um, when Elon was pushing through for tax uh, rebates, when they were moving the Gigafactory here, our club actually got, got together and uh, supported it on these Zoom calls, and we got to know some of the people that make the decisions on uh, business development for the state and for the area and for the county, um, tax abatements and tax rebates. And they said, we can't tell you who, but they had a line of 200 companies that are trying to um, relocate here at headquarters and quote, your heads will spin when some of these announce, right? And they said, we can process a couple a year. We're trying to speed, because they have to basically come through and they're looking for, hey, can we defer or can we you know, get rid of seven, the first 70 million in property tax and start paying in X amount of years, right? And so there's these negotiations and they have to be passed through the process. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's only so many places that can do that. So. When I say there's robust growth, I mean, I feel like, you know, we're living in Palo Alto kind of circa 1999. Wow. And if you look at sort of the parabolic price changes that you saw in that area, we're essentially getting all of those companies moving here. Right. I mean, the Google, Google's building, you know, built already 800,000 square feet downtown, not occupied so yet. So tech people that can afford this well the tech CEOs founders mm. so what's happened is we were tech light now then it's the mid, mid you know it's the software engineers then it's the growth companies the VCs the money people I'm starting yeah. to move here and that's the real sign when the money starts following all the you know the if Elon's the Sun all, all the other companies coming are in his orbit right all the people that are following right. that the tech the, the right. supports for all of those types of industry in addition to the Apple, the Google, the Amazon, oh. all these companies that are making huge inroads here. Uh, I'm not saying they're going to rename their headquarters here, but at a certain point, if they have enough real estate weighted in other cities other than where they are, who knows, right? Yeah. Um, so I don't leave anything off the table. But people are saying, oh, Austin's growth has already gone nuts. And it has in the last 15 years. I think the next 15 years will be an even more robust story wow. based on all these headquarters relocating. You're recording all that? I am. I love the astronomy reference. Let's let's finish the walkthrough. This is a beautiful walk-in closet. I think with, you know, enough space. Uh, bathroom, nothing crazy there, but a M big Jack and come. Jill. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Should we take the elevator? I think we should. Okay. Yeah, so this is the cool part. Oh, there's a there's a waterfall feature. I don't know how to turn it on, but do you see this L shape out here? Yes. That creates a sheet of water that comes down into that side of the lap pool. Wow. And creates this 12-foot waterfall effect. Oh, my gosh. So if you have guests and you don't want them traipsing through your house and going through where you live, they come in the front door, they make a right, they hit the elevator, and they go to the top space, and they bypass all of your personal space. Wow. How cool is that? No, oh. it's fun. I mean, this I really do love my job. It's awesome. Okay, oh. so there, yep, there. Go ahead, hit this. I mean, this is like a four, six you person. I am. Up to the fourth floor. Okay, so. And we'll see. We will watch the view on the way up because one wall is glass. This is uh, not, as, not as high as the Starship elevator, but. <laughs> it's a little slow if there's a complaint. You know. It is a little slow, but it's okay. It gives you time to take in the view. Slow and steady is fine. I'm starting to see downtown. Yes, you are. It's pretty nuts. Uh, so, what year is this? I just built. Just built. That's right. And and how big? How many square feet? Uh, right around ten thousand square feet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's twice as big as my house. And... This is insanity. Wow. So this is your entertainment space. This is cool furniture. Yeah, yeah, it's oh beautiful stuff, right? So fireplace, TV, kitchen, bathroom, and I don't know if we have to zoom in. I think you can see downtown. I mean, downtown is just right uh, yeah, in your you face. Yeah, you can see it. Wow. So once again, this all goes back. Wow. And Jeez. you're bringing So now the we outside, completely inside. opened it. That's really cool. And this is plenty of space to enjoy the view. Too bad it's such an overcast day, but... This is just party space. Yeah. This entire floor is just, let's have a party. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, downtown is just boom. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> There's a cyber truck. 
Oh, it's so, so far down there because we're now on the fourth story. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, when am I moving in? Uh, just scrape together that last $11.9 million <laughs> and you can move right in. I don't have that, that much Tesla stock. <sighs> eat, eat, eat. Oh, those catches are kind of scary. Yeah, well, you're yeah, basically opening and closing an entire wall of glass and metal. Matt Holm, soon to be the cyber realtor of Texas. I actually have cyber realtor already reserved for my license plate. I love the concept. Yeah. Um, so tell me like what what your vision is. This You don't have your truck yet, but you will I soon. I will. So I'm on Tesla number six. Uh, bought my first one 10 years ago. Met Elon the same month, went down the rabbit hole. Um, went to the Capitol and, uh, and fought for direct sales, which we still don't have in Texas, but that's a whole other story. But I just, I keep buying them because they keep making hardware improvements. Stylistically, I have the same looking Model S as I had 10 years ago, but it does so much more as a Plaid than it did as my P85. So I've loved them and I wrap them with my logo. Um, and so I'm kind of known as the Tesla realtor in Austin anyway, by default. And of course I started the Tesla Owners Club as just a passion play. And that's been a lot of fun the last 10 years too. Cybertruck, I was in the front row. Uh, Ann Warbeck, my business partner, um, who I'm sure you guys have seen in some videos as well, we were in the front row and he claims I was the first person to actually like the Cybertruck. It, smoke came out, we were in LA for the unveil, it rolled out and I was immediately on my phone ordering while the entire front row is like, Elon's pranking us, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. There's an F-150 looking thing coming right behind it. That's just a joke, they must be pulling it in by wire, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I want the, the H1 Hummer that got eaten by a Mars rover, right? Like that thing was amazing and mind blowing. And by the end of the, the explanation, which we didn't get everything to market um, as they had displayed, like the little ramp on the tailgate and some of those things, but it looks pretty much exactly like it was. People argued with me for years after that event, it's never gonna look like that. It's the typical prototype that you know car companies do. They make some beautiful, sexy thing, and then they milk toast it down to the point where it's nothing like it. This thing is effectively what I wrote in at the unveil, just marginally smaller with some more bumpers. Um, less, less right angles where you'd run into pedestrians or right. cars, right? So that's the cool part is it looks as radical as it did. And I love it. I mean, I think it's divisive. I think some people, I mean, it's a love or hate kind of thing. So people either, my wife in particular, who loves her Model X, thinks this is the ugliest thing she's ever seen. I think it's a thing of beauty. So, hey, we have different opinions. Not everyone likes Jackson Pollock art either. So uh, anyway, so welcome to... Austin real estate and if you want to come out and ride in a cyber truck and get a tour all over Austin and look at some property um, I'll be showing ranches in this one I was at one yesterday almost bogged my plaid even though I raised the suspension going through some of the fields there so I'm looking forward to having four-wheel drive and being able to take it anywhere so I plan to beat this thing up so we're filming this at the beginning of February do you have any idea when you might get your own so I ordered placed my finalized order and I got the long range four wheel drive because I had heard that's going to come faster than the, the cyber beast. I've got another order out there for a cyber beast and then I just for giggles I put another order in recently not four years ago the two I put four years ago the one I put last month just to see mm -hmm. what does that look like how long is this going to take um, and I'm curious what that's going to look like but the one that I placed the order for December 14th it's been a month and a half um, it's still not here. I don't have a VIN number yet. From what I've heard on my app, when that VIN comes through, I'm a few days away from getting delivery. Oh. Luckily, I have a very generous friend who lets me drive this one to open houses because my open houses blow up when I have a Cybertruck parked out front. So yes. I can't wait to get mine, logo it up, and drive it everywhere. Um, and I'm hoping to be one of the first non-employees in Austin to get one. How is the Austin real estate market right now? We just entered the month of February. Usually things pick up after the holidays and maybe after the Super Bowl. I am washing 2023 out of my hair and off my body. It's gross, it's sticky, it's yucky. It was horrible for, for a lot of people. In Austin, you know, in particular, it was, it was pretty ugly. I mean, we had seen a 40% increase over 21 into 22. So we had seen this, this amazing you know, thing that just blew up. 
And we've given back 25% over 23, really. And buyers are terrified because rates, you know, were so high. Um, you know, sellers, I gave the advice last year to probably 30 different sellers, please don't sell if, if you don't have to this year. It's a necessity, we can. If you don't have to, hang on to it till 24 or 25 when we start seeing support and when the, the things kind of settle out. So between rates dropping about a point and a half, um, election years are weird, but I think there's optimism that the next regime potentially that's, you know, is going to make the economy a little bit stronger. I'm feeling more optimism in the air. I've got about 20 million in listings coming up over the next month that I've got listings on that we're going to roll into March, um, which is typically the hottest time of year to sell. Um, and I've got friends that are putting things on the market right now and they're getting multiple offers. We haven't seen that in a year and a half. So I feel like we probably bottomed out last fall maybe into winter and now we're, i think this year we'll probably get back five percent eight percent some people think the bottom's coming i from what i'm seeing unless rates go back to eight percent i think we already hit bottom and we're going to come out of it austin still has sixty thousand people moving here a year they're moving here for good jobs mostly tech elon's got a ton of people moving here for various companies as long as we have net positive migration and jobs our real estate is going to be strong long term. And so this is really a Fed induced doldrum that we just came out of. Um, but those people that moved here in 22 and 23 that didn't buy are still going to be buyers. They're going to get into the market and they're just waiting kind of for permission when rates get to a agreeable rate, whatever that is, five and a half, five point eight seven five, six point two five, and they're starting to test the waters, which you know feels good because I'm telling you, man, last year. I felt like I was semi-retired, not in a good way. I'm not prepared for retirement yet. Yes. Um, so that was, a, it was a weird year. It was a weird year. Well, and you know, if anything, 2024, you'll see success by being the cyber realtor. I have no doubt in my mind. I think there'll be some people that want to ride in the truck, past clients, have, and they, I have people showing up. I post on my socials, hey, we're going to have a cyber truck. And, and I've just, I've had three, four times the traffic. Um, at the house too, you know, there's some byproducts, right? So we get, but people love getting inside the truck, getting a ride around the block, testing out the, you know, the, the cover. Um, and so my buddy's super generous. As you can see, he let you drive and he just met you. Um, and I, I think I was the, I was, I, five minutes after he picked it up, he was letting me drive home. He's so, so nice. Such a nice dude. I mean, really great, great past client and, and really become a friend, obviously. Well, you know, people can also reach out to us and request the Ellie tour. Okay, so we are going to go check out one of Matt's listings right now. And I'm driving us because this is probably a rare opportunity. Welcome to a project we're working on. Uh, this one's a uh, flip that basically um, we picked up about four months ago. It had had the interior redone mostly. We've done some tweaks. We've reskinned the outside, which was a horrible tobacco colored limestone, very similar to, well, you can't see the house over there, but 1970s Brady Bunch looking stuff. Reskinned it, repainted it, light fixtures, new roof, garage door. We created an office out of the dining space. Come in, I'll give you a tour. This is kind of entry level luxury um, in Westlake. Um, picked it up for one six, looking to probably get, you know, put some stuff into it. We're gonna look at that, probably a two three to two five listing, depending on if we put a pool in. I'll show you where we're gonna do that. So this is like entry level luxury, and then we're gonna go to some, stay tuned in the video, because we're gonna go to something crazy. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna I'll show you some of the, the, the uh, more impressive homes. Um, so yeah, I think you'll enjoy that. Mr. Beast does videos like that where it's like $1 hotel versus, you know, $100,000 a night hotel. So right. I think it'll be good. Yeah, this will be fun. So white oak plank floors, uh, redid the fireplace, retextured everything, shelves, all new cabinets, Viking appliances everywhere, uh, four bedroom. And then we're going to put the the dining room over on this side and we took what was the dining room and created an office check this out I, this was an idea my wife came up with and uh basically this was dining space in a very awkward spot between mm -hmm. the living room and uh the kitchen and so we basically created this wall system with sliding doors so you can put a floating desk here and look out back towards the back of the house wow um so yeah it's kind of fun we're gonna redo the deck, repaint that. These guys are working on some gate systems so that we can have the pool uh, locked in for kids. Here's the kitchen. We're gonna build in uh, 
like a, a nice dining area. An island's gonna go here mm. uh, for additional seating and storage. And then this is where the pool might go, although the pool is gonna take so long. I don't wanna miss the market. Hey, Manuel. Um, I don't wanna miss the market, but everywhere you see one of these trees, that's where uh, about a 30 by 18 foot pool was gonna go with a deck. And so if we don't have time, that's just gonna turn into grass. Yeah. So we'll see. Stay tuned for the next time yeah. we, uh, we take a look at this house. Okay. But this will be coming on the market. It's 3,600 square feet. Um, should be coming on hopefully by March. So stay tuned.